Hello everyone, Melanie Wood, founder of Speaking Styles and I help people to empower, inspire change in their lives and in the lives of others through the art of storytelling. And today being Are You Okay Day, I was just thinking about how storytelling can actually build more of that connection and engagement and build that inner circle and community around you so that then we can be checking in with people more frequently because we start to understand them more. We communicate on a daily or a weekly basis and we start to build that support network around us. And, and it just made me think that through the art of storytelling is that when we start to share stories and we listen to people's stories is when we start to relate to them. And we can actually start to get to that place of emotional intelligence, of empathizing with people and thinking that they're not just the person that's going through what they're going through right now, is that they're actually, there's that bigger picture and there's more to that person than just what they're displaying right now. And sometimes that our own behaviors and our own patterns can get in the way. However, if we come from that place of empathy, and we start to find out more about what's happening. And we don't want to just be saying, oh, what's wrong with you? Or are you okay? We want to be able to engage with people and be able to look at their body language and not just what they're saying is, how are they saying it? How are they holding their body language? Because that will actually tell you a lot more about how the person's feeling than just what they're saying. Because how many times can we be saying to people, oh, how are you? And you just say, oh, fine, or, or busy. And whereas a body language is actually telling you something else. It's telling you that that person might be stressed. They might be feeling overwhelmed. They might just be feeling like they just don't know what to do. And sometimes we just brush past that and we think, oh, the person's busy or they're fine. And sometimes we put on these masks to show everybody that we are fine. However, underneath, that's not the way that we're actually feeling. So building up those connections and engaging with people is we start to really understand who they are. We're actually listening to understand people because one of the main things that all that people want to be is heard and understood. So if we're just listening to people to react to them and to say what we think we should be saying is that the person just never heard and understood. And if the person's not heard and understood is that they can then feel alone, they can feel in isolation and they can then disengage from people because people just don't get it and they don't understand. So by taking that time out to stop in your day whether it's at work or whether it's on the phone or whether it's when you meet someone, just take that time to pause and, and really listen to what the person's saying, but also around their body language as well. Because we don't want people to feel like they're alone. We want to be able to help and we want to be able to support people. And when people share stories of their own and it's similar to the, what the person's going through, you feel like it's not just you that's going through what you're going through, that someone else has gone through what you're going through and, and it's okay. And, and I know for myself over the last week that I got to a point where I just felt overly exhausted physically and mentally and emotionally. And when we get to that place, we don't deal with things very well. Things that would just be, oh, yep, that's fine, that's no worries. We end up, it's, we blow it out of proportion. It becomes bigger than what it is. And I know for myself, if things get too overwhelming and too much, I disengage and I just want to retract and isolate myself from other people. And if it wasn't for the people in my inner circle, the people that check in with me and check how I'm doing, then it wouldn't bring me back to a place of where I can be. Because do you ever just look at people and you think they've just absolutely got their shit together? Whereas you feel like you've never got your shit together. I feel like that on a constant basis where I just look and everybody seems to be effortlessly doing what they're doing and I feel like I'm just running around and trying to keep my head above water. But whereas if we actually engage and we actually share those stories with people, we can start to understand that they've 
gone through what we're going through or they have struggles but if we're just constantly saying we're fine or everything's going really well it's wonderful and really it's not then we're just talking on the surface we don't actually get to that deeper level of emotional intelligence and empathy and I think as a, as a community is that we can really help people if we take time to check in with them send them messages, give them a call and just see how they're actually doing. And, and it could be that you, they've shared a story with you and you want to check in and just say, oh, how are you going with that problem or that issue? Can I help in any way? Is there anybody I can connect you with? And that's how we can actually just be able to help people. And that's something that I'm really passionate about is helping people, getting through what they're getting through because we're all human and we're all going to go through struggles. We're all going to go through mistakes. And if we can actually share that with people, then it's going to help. And yesterday I, I'm i actually in a, in, a, in a closed group where we have to do live videos every two weeks. And if we don't, we actually get pushed out of the group. And it's a great way to get outside your comfort zone and challenge yourself. And I didn't really feel like doing it yesterday, but it was getting to the deadline where I knew I had to do it. And I really didn't feel like doing it. And when I did, I actually got really upset during the live video. And, and that's the first that I've ever really done anything like that. And, and I could have got upset about it because I got upset. But I was showing vulnerability and, and so many people were showing empathy and understanding where I was coming from. And I think if we can get to that point with people is that it just shows support and it shows people that it's okay to be upset. It's okay to feel angry or anxious and, and it's okay to, to have those different types of feelings and that you're still going to support them no matter what. So let's go out there, connect with people, tell people that they're not alone, that you're there to support them in any way that you can or connect them with other people and let's share stories and let's really listen to other people's stories. So again, have an amazing evening, have an amazing day wherever you are and until next time, I'll see y'all very soon.